good evening guys still on our, our series of past questions on blood physiology so we'll be talking about the lance tenant's law and what are the lance tenant's law and what are their applications in physiology so um sit back and get your headphones as you listen to this tutorial this is the mbbs niger if you like our our, our our medical videos kindly do subscribe to our youtube channel and um, check us on facebook at mbbs niger and like our page okay so let's go on and let's talk about the land stainers law um we said that the reciprocal relations the reciprocal relationship between antigens on the red blood cells and antibodies in the serum is known as the land stainers law okay carl land stainer suggested that the phenomenon was not pathology okay as it was the prevalent thought at the time but it was a physiological uh, phenomenon uh, due to the unique nature of the individual's body so this is a relationship between your antigens and your antibody and when you say that your antigens when they are present uh, your antibodies will be absent in the serum if not there will be agglutination this also forms basis for blood grouping okay where you get to mix a blood anti antigen with its antibody, and there's agglutination, and you get to know that whether it is type blood type A, blood type B, or blood type O. If you want to watch the video on um, blood grouping, you could just scroll down our YouTube channel. We already have a video on blood grouping there. Okay, so let's continue, guys. I uh, will say that this is the Carl Lansteiner that we are talking about. And I think he won the Nobel uh, Prize in 1930. Okay, he was the one that postulated the Lansteiner's law that we are talking about today. And the Lansteiner's law are two. All right. So let's continue. We say that uh, an Australian scientist, that's Carl Lansteiner, in 1901 proposed the following laws. Uh, before we talk about the law, let's just look at an image. Uh, you see that blood group A. Um, in the serum, antibodies of uh, of A will be will, will be absent, okay? And it will be antibody B, all right? And the antigens in blood group A will be antigen A that will be present, okay? So this will say that when the antigen is present, the antibody is is is, is absent, all right? And we get to see um, conditions that are exception to this rule. All right, so what is the law Law number one? We say that if a particular antigen is present on the surface of the RBC, the corresponding antibody is absent in serum. Okay, if a particular antigen is present on the surface of RBC, the corresponding antibody is absent in serum. Okay, let's move. And the law number two say that if a particular antigen is absent on the surface of RBC, the corresponding antibody must be present in serum. Okay, sorry. I said that actually the, the second law is not applicable to restus factor. Okay, the second law against that if an antigen is absent on the surface of RBC, the corresponding antibody must be present in serum. Okay, let's move. This is the Lansenaus law that we are talking about. That when you see antigen. A, you won't see antibody B in serum. Sorry, you won't see antibody A in serum, but rather you see antibody B and stuff like that. Okay, so uh, what is the applications of this law of Lansteiner's? We say that the first law that holds it holds true for all types of blood grouping. Okay, the law that says that if the antigen is present on the surface, then antibody is absent in serum. However, the second law is a fact. Uh, sorry, the second law is a fact for blood group A, B, O. Okay, but the restless factor and other blood groups does not follow the second part of the Lansteiner's law. So basically, this video was just for you to. Um, nobody really asks you in depth on the Lansteiner's law. They just wanted to understand the basis. Okay and um, its effect on blood clotting. 
okay this just to let you know that okay when antigen a is is mixed with antibody a uh, there will be agglutination okay and the second law is not applicable for restless factor and stuff like that okay so with that we have come to the end of our tutorial on um land stainers law okay uh, this is the mbbs niger youtube channel and if you are watching this video i haven't subscribed to our youtube channel kindly do subscribe to our youtube channel search us on facebook and like our facebook page at mbbs niger and see you guys in the next tutorial bye for now guys